Hello UK fans, Matt Durant here, and welcome to another episode with Ghost Tricks for Halloween week. So, yeah, the deck is very inconsistent, but it is pseudo-enjoyable, to be honest. It's not the most enjoyable, but it does hurt people a lot. I've had a few rage quits against me, so that's... <laughs> still doing what his, what his job is to troll. But certain cards are going to be very dangerous. Okay, he's using the new Kaiju cards, I'm guessing. I have to do this as well for this week as well. I forgot that the cards were about to come out, and they did. Gam CL is absolutely broken in the deck. It's a brilliant card. So hopefully we get to see that, but... So he's using Tenki, he's going for the Yosenju. Ah, he's usually going for Yosenju, Kai um, Yosenju uh, uh, Kaijus. Okay, why did you normal summon the Suji by itself? Well, I'm not going to be um, doing anything to that. I'm just going to take that 2100. Um, you could have just done a lot more damage there. And why I didn't do a Lantern was because I'm going to use Mary. Although I just did Dutch in this clip, but. <laughs> no, no point there. Um, Doll, maybe alright. I'll go for Shang-Chi for now. Because I can be searching out my other things. And he'll be able to tribute my monster, unfortunately, if he has his kaiju cards. He has no counters on this, thankfully. So he didn't he wasn't able to search out what he needed. When I can set his monsters, I can flip over the knight, and that will be very dangerous. Shang-Chi now flip shotgun, and hopefully this will gain me some nice Power, um, going for not Jack Frost. Actually, yeah, Jack Frost is better at this point. I can now set the doll, so she's a very good card in this deck, and I can set the Zhangxi. I could have attacked directly, but I clicked on it before. <laughs> um, just clicked, not thinking anything through right now, but hopefully he goes for the the perfect USNG one star I want is, is a mass summon I want a mass summon so then I can sandstorm and blow a lot of things away and he's going for the string kaiju which is going to be dangerous very dangerous if he has removed brainwashing that's going to be also another dangerous card he's going to be adding this back to the hand anyway because he's got the USNG camera one and I'm not going to get anything further because I will go for Sunstorm Mirafoss to at least blockade his field, which is nice. It'll be a 2700, that's nice as well, you can bounce it back to your hand if you like. And then you can trigger my other monster, which looks like he's going to be doing because he wants to gather counters. And poor dog, that would be so sad. Then I would have control over, over it if he does, which will be annoying for him. Okay, he's going straight for attack, so I'm going to be doing the obvious Sandstorm Mirror Force now. Just blow the dust up in the air. Hopefully, he doesn't have the counter trap. No, no counter trap, so that's good. He gets two counters on this, which is alright, and if he does give me the monster now, I have this lose one turn event. Although, if he gives me Gam CL, that would be so legendary. I'll just love that. I can't wait to play it. <laughs> okay, Lantern. That's really not going to be what I want to do. Um, Flip Shock and Doll. Doll's Mantry effect activates. And can't really do anything with Knight at this moment. So, just pass turn. And then Doll will give its automatic effect, which saves us over here for some reason. And now I can special stroke it out uh, that turn. So I can start to gather level 1s on the field. Which give me some defense. And I have Storm Miracles as well, so that's also a good thing to do. He could tribute him in this to actually bring out a Kaiju. Which would increase his Kaiju counters. Oh no, he's gonna just pass. Okay, I didn't expect that. Um, well, I'm probably gonna normal summon this uh, Lantern. We're going to keep the doll on form, on form because if I don't, it may be dangerous. But you can you can shut down myself quite effectively because of the fact that he could just stream my uh, Dark Lord and get quite a lot of control. 
but you can't unset those ones just because they are free with Sandstorm Ripos. I want to clog up this field, so I'm not going to kill his monsters. I want to attack into them. I've already got a knight, so I only need mansion right now. Mansion is my option that I go for. So, there's nothing much ghost trick in the graveyard that I think I need. Um, Zhangxi. Actually, Zhangxi is in the graveyard. Zhangxi is quite good. Yeah, I'll go for Zhangxi. Because Zhangxi is brilliant in the deck. And. We'll go for the mansion, and then next turn we'll be going for the traps, if we have that option. And Zhangxi back in the hand. So, a lot of hand control here. Need to do a lot of things uh, to a lot of monsters. Mansion can give us a little more protection, because it will have our damage. So that's very fun to do. And I can attack directly, so I can start doing some damage as well. Which maybe applicable depending on what he has back row wise okay he has a wabaku i don't see wabaku many much but you now get a kaiju card so that is also very dangerous very dangerous indeed but if you clear my board i've got jack frost spectre and lantern to uh flip on although the the new trap card for this deck is all right it's a draw card but it's sort of useless to be honest. If you're going for the kaiju once more, you're gonna switch or something out like another kaiju? Or you're gonna search for, um, what is it? I can't remember what it's called exactly. Um, Doggeran, that's the one. Doggeran can nuke the field, which will be problematic. But if you treat, if you treat, if you special summon it, I'm gonna use a lose one turn effect. Because it's literally the best effect. That's the problem with uh, giving me the Gaiju of Kamungus. Because you can't attack with that. You can't do anything with that actually. You can't also you can also not tribute summon out my out your own. You can not summon out another kaiju. Because that is not applicable. And this can set monsters, which is gonna be funny. But it's not gonna be what I want at the moment. I really need to bring out another um Another monster, but I can't really because he's going to nuke the field with that. I can't run it over. I can't really run Mirror Shield either, so that's also another problem I've got to raise. Um, I can summon out a monster, but it's not going to be very applicable. I don't want to run it over anything, so I'm going to switch it to defense. And that's done. Because we all know he's going to nuke the, try and nuke the field. And if he does attack, I'm going to do Star and Mirror Force. And then use the Kamungus effect once again to keep lowering his uh, Kaiju, ca Kaiju counter count. Which is a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> it just depends on what he's playing out in the deck. I'm happy the Kaiju is getting more support. Okay, he's going straight for the attack. So I can use Storming Mirror Force, thankfully. It won't affect his set monsters, which is very nice. And Storming, blast it back to the hand. Can't attack directly, unfortunately, with the effect of Mansion out. If you if you special choking out your dog around, I will kill it with uh, I will slow it down again with the Kaiju because I am uh, I'm definitely experienced in Kaiju decks. Some people may not even realize that you can use this effect when you're in control of it. I've I've known more too, so actually not know that. So yeah, it, well it doesn't occur to them. Thankfully, this gives you a prompt. I have to use the kaiju counters here. I could crash into his Kamungus at this point in the game, and then I can attack directly with another monster if I get that chance. But he does ruin uh, Wabaku, which is very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Nothing really stunnable at this point either. Uh, only one counter, so I can leave it there actually because Kamungus can't run over Kamungus. I'm so bored. Yeah, this is this is not the best matchup for any person here. Ghost Tricks versus Kaiju's <laughs> not the not the uh, ideal uh, point you want to go for. It's like um, Kaiju's versus Gradle, I think it is, or another deck 
that's similar. I get scare, thankfully. That's a very good option for me to do. And you can only attack face up monsters. And um, I think it is only monsters you cannot attack face down monsters yet. So you can't attack my defenses. I'm gonna go for a lantern, which is gonna be nice. I can then flip his Kamongas down when I need it to be. And then he could go for the um, big ass monster. Depends on what he's gonna go for though. This kaiju is really funny now because that's just. You've given me loads of advantage with having this Kamongas on. And without enough counter, you can't use your own Kamongas effect. So I can use my Ghost Tricks effectively. <laughs> Go for Lanta and no more shooking out that lovely little Spectre. Boo, bro. And he's probably going to wrench at this point. Okay, he's Flying Sea. Now I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. I should have done because it is Ghost, it is, um, ghost Tricks. Is that monsters you control? Can't switch my own opponent's monsters to defense either, so that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Playing under um, Flying C. Or Flanking C. Uh, I can't knight either. <sighs> problems. Problems. So I can just set his monsters. I, can, I, can, I can't deck him out. Unfortunately, my deck is lower than his, so I'm just going to set my monsters instead, and probably run this flank, flank C into his uh, Kamongus, if I can switch his position, no I can't, not yet. Next turn though, I will do that, because it's my option in this point. <laughs> I think Tribute Summon, but there's no Ghost Tricks actually in Tribute Summon. It would be funny if they could, but... No. And no, there's no point in doing that. Although, I just realised I could do Doll. If I do Doll, that will mean he can summon a Doggeran. Which could be problematic, but not too problematic, like I said. it. So that would actually get around it, I don't have to uh, rely on anything else. Doll, give us some help. And without two counters on that, he can't negate it. So I can put my scare down once more, and now in turn with everything setting on the field, including the Flying Sea. And no special summon, obviously, but it's basically just to set that. He can go for Kamungus now, he has that option. He can tribute my monsters. That's if he wants to. Okay, one more face down. I am really limiting his, his options at this point. Twin Twister, nice, but it's not going to be what I want to do at this point. I need to get rid of some of that back row, because that is dangerous. And he can't fly and see me again, so I have nothing problematic with that side of things. So we've shaken that lantern, and he's going to torrential, maybe. That would uh, be problematic at this point. Depends where he's going to go for. He has some back row at this point. Maxi. He knows I'm going to be doing something. Although I can now flip over Knight. And that locks him down from unsetting that Urkumungus. So that's lovely there. And I think I will have to flip Shokin out Kamungus as well because then I have a way of getting around it, essentially, depending on what he tributes or goes for. I can exceed, but I don't want to give him a draw. At this point, this is that's a dangerous thing to do. He may run Mirror Force. That is a problem. He may run Mirror Force. Battle Fader. Didn't expect that. Yeah, yes, fine. That's another card to the club, though. I feel like I should set this now, because this Twin Twister may be coming in clutch later on. This is like the first deck I'm trying this Twin Twister in. If I was play if I ever played BA on in an IRL, I would definitely run this Twin Twister when it came out, because it is brilliant. It's just 
such a beautiful and it's beautiful card too. It, it brings out quite a lot of old cards, but especially that people, some people, some of the newer generation won't even know what that card is. Ancient Telescope. That'd be so funny. <laughs> but yeah, back in the day, that's no one saw, still no one played it. <laughs> and he's gonna end phase there. That's fine with me. He has not. He's not drawing his counters in. And if you guys, I hope you, hopefully you guys are actually enjoying this somewhat. It's not the best matchup, but it's, it's not the worst. Um, Spectre, give him a little prank, try and kill that deadly battle theater. And yes, that was my um, uh, leg cracking. Oh god, that miracles really. It's gonna give him two counters on this. Which is going to be dangerous, and I can use Spectre, thankfully. So I get a draw out of this. And Aroma Jar. Now that is dangerous. That is very dangerous. I'm using Aroma Jar because it is a great stall card against quite a few decks, but against some decks it can be easily outed. Cosmo, Infernoid, very much outing to this, but it's going to be hard for other card, other decks to run over. Be depending what he's going to tribute. Okay, he has a Yosenju. Okay, well, I'm going to have to scare that into defensive mode. So I need Spectre. Uh, should I flip some inspector by itself? I could flip some in the Roman Child, but I don't want to reveal what I'm playing else. And I could set that camera, which will mean it will not be getting any further, it won't be returning to that hand. Not to mention that um, Ghost Trick Knight is going to be blocking him from doing a lot of things. This is not a good matchup for him, and I'm pretty sure he's not enjoying this anymore. And it's gone stale, oh. Some people. Could win Twister at this point because he's already got enough counters to do everything. So I can get some, right, rid of some of those back rows now. So Twin Twister, I will best duel ever. Yeah, bro, I know. So cool. Um, get rid of the mansion. Get rid of these two back rows. Obviously not gonna manage to, not gonna uh, try to destroy that because it's problematic. Okay, so we know he's got a Wabaku down. And we killed, I hope, I think it was a Mirafoss? Oh, we killed two Wobbakus. Guy, this, this, this guy really likes his Wobbaku. And... Might as well normal summon out Ico Strike. Uh, yeah. Although we could easily destroy it. It's tribute out and then special summon on the field. But then he just gives me a free monster if he does. And he can't flip Shogun out those. Gone for the out one, two, and he cannot do that until Ghost Tricks are gone on off the field. I can run down his monsters and try and do it that way, but this will be interesting to see. So I'm going to go for Jack Frost, and just going to leave it there. Don't need to do anything more. Without him getting rid of my Ghost Tricks, it's going to be really problematic. He hasn't normal summoned. Which I'm, I don't know if they can be normal summoned, I'm pretty sure they can. Yeah, they can be normal summoned. So I don't know why he isn't tribute summoning them. Maybe card stopping that? I doubt it though. Finally, tribute summoning. Okay, so we all know that I'm going to scare him. Because if I don't, he will make the field. So, might as well flip over one. And yeah, I will not kill the flank that yet, so it flips that over and lock down Doggeran. He's got through two Doggerans so far. And Doll will actually set everything. Which will be nice somewhat. He's just ending the turn there. No special summon right now. Five counters on that, so I have to I don't have to kill this. I do not have to kill this. I didn't use even duality last turn, so let's see what I can get. I need some back row. 
Come on, give me some background. That'd be lovely in this situation. If he even wants to respond. Oh yeah, I'm waiting for his response. Does he have something to respond with? I laugh if he drops uh, flying seat. Ooh. Now that is even worse than night. In the fact that it will lock him down even further. But do I want to use it yet? This is the only two monsters can't be summoned. Uh, might as well flip shooken out Jack Frost and flip shooken out Spectre. Because I need to end the start getting the scares back. Doll is very scary at this point. I have done little damage. He is getting a direct attack. So that's an issue. And for some reason I can't exceed someone. Oh yeah, Pod <laughs> God, I'm, I'm such a horrible player. <laughs> Come on, Jack Frost, give us some plus. Yeah, he's I'm finally doing damage. Wow. It's 25 turns in, I'm finally doing damage. I can just pass turn. I can leave these ghost tricks on board because Knight is really shutting him down. He's gone through two Dogarans and two Kamungus, I believe. Uh, one fist out. Could be anything really. Um, come on, give me. Let me look you graveyard, bro. He's gone through one command. Oh, second commungus has finally dropped on the field. Uh, it's gonna kill one of my monsters. He finally knows to tribute summon at least. I'm gonna ha take half damage thanks to mansion, which is lovely. And now I can sort of concealing light to keep my control up. And hopefully that'll do some nice things. So, Swords of Record Seal the Light, set that Kamungus back on the field. And who do I want to summon? I have to summon out Jack Frost. So, Jack Frost is really not doing anything wrong with this turn. Yeah, Jack Frost. At least I can XC some this time. But maybe he's not going to be that applicable. Depends on what he's playing, because he could be playing anything. He's got back room at this point. Hmm. It'll give me scare again. Yeah, scare is gonna be what I wanna go for. Dullahan. And is he gonna negate the summon? If he does, I can do scare once more because I'll be adding in. And now he knows I'm going to be drawing. So just summoning once more, obviously. So summon out the mischief, because mischief is awesome. He's gone through all three Wagakus, which is nice. I'm gonna be searching out things, which is also nice. Depending on what he's going to go for. Okay, Fiendish Chain. I can still detach the cost, which is fine. So Dullahan at least gets me something back, which I want, and I want a scare. And I can't attack directly with this, which is annoying. I could attack directly with Aromajab at this point, which would be perfectly fine at this. Yeah, Aromajab, bro. Now I'm starting to get, again. I'm going to start gaining my life points back. 250 damage, start to cut down things, and then the effect of a Roman Charm Mantry gave 500 life points. And hopefully, I can stall that now. He can't flip summon at all. Sort of concealing the light locks us down. He can tribute summon. I would love to run like Zombie World in this deck that stops him tribute summoning. And obviously, on the summon of that, I have to do scare, so I have to reset this. Unset this and then set that. And Doll's gonna be putting everything back, meaning Phoenix Chain is no longer in a in place, so do run my pot first, and then they'll all set. And do I want a special summon? Might as well at this point. Uh go for Shang-Chi actually. That'll be nice, I can get my other Spectre out of the deck. And Swords of Concealing Light number one and number two. Depends what I want to go for. So I'm going to flip summon out Zhangxi first. Zhangxi is going to search it out Spectre from the deck. Now I can flip summon out Aromaja and Angel of Mischief. Use Angel of Mischief's effect. Add a Ghost Trick Spell Trap. Detach this. And I have a Scare. I also have a Go Around. I'll go for Scare now because Scare is more dangerous at this position. So set that, and probably gonna set my swords as well, so he doesn't know which one is which. 
and hopefully I can start doing some stuff. He may run another Mirafoss, which is more than likely. He does run the second Mirafoss. But at least I get some plus from this, I can get my Spectre out and get a draw. Sandstorm Mirafoss. Now that's an issue for him to play with. And I'll have to go for another Dillahan next turn, so I'm going to have to Normal Summon. I could not Oh, I? I can Normal Summon out King of right now. And King of can let me Special Summon out my Geocrust. Which means I can go for Dullahan and lock down once more. This time, really need to keep my resource flowing. But not much options to do that. So I go Strict Spell Trial. I have a lot of lot of limit here, so but I get a go around at least. And Dullahan allows me to add a scare back to the deck, back to my hand. Which is also good. I can have damage, but I feel like I'm gonna deck out. Really should run some way of re-adding cards to my hand bet deck, but I don't want it to be a dead draw half the time. He's got a lot of, a very limited supply. He's finally using that, which I'm really surprised he hasn't used that before. Maybe he wants to keep the other plays in, involved. And he hasn't even, he didn't trigger some. Okay. Maybe he doesn't fear it as much. And still can see this light's gone. That's completely fine. Um, I can flip some new, flip some new. I'm gonna go for a Spectre right now. And switch you to attack. Could use your effect. I don't want to at the moment. I could use the effect to start giving thing, gaining um, cards on it. But I don't really want it at this moment. Don't want to kill my deck so much. It's likely to be another mirror force down there. But I have to attack. I will not gain anything from this. I can Regeki at any point too. Which is nice as well. Main 2, set Scare, and end turn there. Knight is really locking this down. And if you guys are still watching this, because this is this is a bit strenuous. Oh, he's summoning out Kama too. Interesting. He is finally summoning out another Yosenju. Oh, please attack me directly. Call the Haunted, he's summoning out once more into another Yosenju, so I'm going to definitely scare at this point. That's dangerous enough, I'm not even going for Excite on Knight, so... Scare, get it, flip two... And flip this down. This is one Ghost Recall flip down. Summoning Curse! I don't have to do it, I don't have to do that, so he was doing Summoning Curse in the deck. Which is interesting. Okay, Dogaran comes on the field, and now I have to banish something. At this point, Mansion is useless. That's fine with me. You gonna attack directly? Because I really want that, actually. And I do really want that. That's Sandstorm Mirafoss. Sandstorm Mirafoss setting you down once more. If he's able to destroy this, he kinda wins game. Because then I can't attack directly. I don't know if I have to special summon. No, I don't have to special summon. And no, I don't want to use that. No, I don't want to use that. And now I have Twin Twister once more. I can do a lot more things. So flip summon Spectre, flip summon Nat. Nat, and I need to go into uh, next seeds. That's Ghost Trick. I don't think I have any. Um, I've got Dullah. I can go for Alucard, but I need to negate the effect of that. I can't negate the effect of that. Which is annoying. Very annoying. Um, so that's going to do 15. That's going to do 600. So that's 21. That's 21. Add on to about 350. So that's 2450. That would be 20, 450, 2750. 2750. That could be game. I can do this, so it means I have to waste a lot of resort, I just go for a lot of stuffs. Dull automatic effect. And now let's hope he doesn't have a battle fader. Finally. I know. Now we can finally do it. I'm gonna end the duel with Dogaran because 
Dog around is going to do actually flying C. Best of luck. Yeah, nah. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so let's do some more damage. I'm gonna do some damage with Dog around. So boring. <laughs> And I'm going to end it with flying C. GG. GG. And flying C wins the door. So, yeah. A lot of... A lot of hard work was involved with that. So much um, resource management and everything. And eventually, Ghost Tricks actually sorted out um, the Kaijus and Yusenjus. And summoning curse, which looks like a one of maybe a two of in his deck, or he just didn't draw into any of them, which I've seen before. I've seen this uh, kind of deck before with the flying C. I just didn't realize he was using all three parts together. Flying C and Kaju was more applicable to together than over over all three in one deck. Maybe clog, maybe a possibility of clog. But then again, there's a lot of XC decks around, so it is very very possible to use. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you stay till this long, it would be a miracle, to be honest. Doggeran is so powerful, so I had to keep shutting it down. If I didn't shut down his plays, I would have got nuked by Doggeran's effects. I don't know if I don't know if he's running Gamsiel. I would definitely run Gamsiel. It's one of the most legitimately broken cards for a underrated archetype. So hopefully I'll be doing some more. I'll be doing some more stuff with Kaiju over this week, depending on what else I've got. I should have after this episode. There will be a DD episode, which was supposed to be of last week, and will be uh, hopefully on the same day as this. So look out for that, and then hopefully more ghost tricks uh, to lead you into Halloween week. So thank you for thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you did, and want to see further content and want to support my channel's growth. In, and uh, please leave your comments below if you've got suggestions for the deck or suggestions for the channel in general. Thank you for watching, Madarant signing out.